know, as a married as a married couple, we've realized the advantage of having other couples that ex share their experiences. And this uh, one year anniversary of the pod and the podcast, you guys are talking to the couple who helped you through sex addiction, right? Mm -hmm. And right. that's something obviously that's very um, intimate and something to open up about. But have you found, or how have you found that that's helped other couples that are listening? Just through really just social media and Jana's direct messages and emails that we get to our iHeart email account, just them. We're really impressed with the fans being willing to open up themselves also and, and be vulnerable and, and express to us their stories and how much ours is helping them. Yeah. yeah, and the fact that like Mike went that extra layer to talk about addiction has been amazing because you know there's so many people out there because sex addiction isn't a very... Uh, Socially accepted addiction really yet. Yeah, so I think people are still kind of wanting to know more about it and ask questions and I think because a lot of people either say like, oh, it's an excuse and it's just... They we're trying to stop that stigma. Well, yeah, and we hear about this um, with different celebrities that kind of come forward and, and talk about having sex addictions and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. As you've opened up really intimately, what have been some of the struggles that you faced, right? I mean, that's a distinct choice to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you do it, and maybe it turns out to be or feel a little different than you thought it would. I don't know. I mean, I'll let you speak on that because that's, you know, you, you know, your... I mean, I'm actually surprised that there hasn't been as many issues as we anticipated with kind of fully opening up about all this. The unfortunate thing is because of the whole Me Too movement, it either gives the whole addictive piece either a, a more of an excuse or more people are, are aware of it socially and accept it a little bit. So we're kind of in that, that battle right now to you know, kind of move the needle where it's not just a, an excuse, it is an actual addiction. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people relate to you too on the other side of things and seeing how strong you are and being able to help him through that. Right. So I think